It's cold outside. Canada is one of the coldest countries in the world. And while the winter provides opportunities for fun activities such as skiing, skating, and sledding, the cold temperatures and wind can be dangerous. While working or playing outside in the winter, here are some helpful tips on preventing, recognizing, and treating cold stress injuries. The human body works to maintain a core temperature of 36 to 37 degrees Celsius. When cold, the body starts to shiver in order to warm up. When temperatures reach certain levels, the body cannot regulate its temperature anymore and starts to lose heat. This leads to cold stress injury and can be fatal. A person can be more susceptible to cold stress if they aren't adapted to the cold, have a medical condition, or are taking medication that can prevent or impair temperature regulation. Age and other physiological characteristics can also have an impact. Before heading out into the cold, check the weather forecast for temperature and wind chill. Wind chill will make the temperature feel colder. Wear layers of clothing and outerwear to more easily regulate body temperature. When in a cold environment for longer periods, take breaks to warm up and drink water or warm non-alcoholic beverages. There are four main types of cold stress injuries. Chillblains is a mild cold stress injury from being exposed to cold over several hours. Symptoms include redness, itching, swelling, and sometimes blisters. Move to a warm area and avoid scratching. Keep blisters clean and covered. Trench foot or immersion foot is an injury from prolonged exposure to wet and cold conditions. Skin becomes red or blotchy, numb, cold, itchy or tingling, blisters from tissue death, or pain when warmed. Remove footwear and wet socks and carefully dry the feet. Avoid walking on injured feet if possible. Warm the feet with warming packs and seek medical attention. Frostbite is when tissue freezes losing color and feeling. Fingers, toes, ears, nose, cheeks, and chin are most likely to be impacted. Symptoms include reduced blood flow to the area, numbness, tingling or stinging, aching pain, bluish or pale waxy skin, and tissue damage or death. Move to a warm area. Avoid walking on frostbitten feet unless necessary. Immerse the affected area in warm but not hot water or warm with body heat. Do not rub or massage the area and do not warm the area with a heating pad, stove or fireplace to avoid burning. Seek medical attention. Hypothermia occurs when the body loses heat faster than it can produce it. This affects brain function and causes impaired thinking and movement. Early symptoms include shivering, fatigue, loss of coordination, confusion or disorientation. If not treated, these can proceed to late stage, which includes no shivering, blue skin, dilated pupils, slow pulse and breathing, loss of consciousness, and can be fatal. Call 911 and seek medical attention. Move the person to a warm area, remove any wet clothing, and warm the head and body core first by wrapping the person in layers of blankets, using warm water bottles, heating pads, electric blankets, or skin-to-skin -skin contact with another person. If the person is conscious, offer a warm sugary drink. Do not give them alcohol and do not use a bath, shower, fire, or stove to heat the person up. Whether enjoying the great outdoors or working in a cold space, remember to bundle up and stay warm.